Welcome back to the channel guys. Got an exciting new bike to show you today. I love the smell of new bikes. Reminds me of a kid going to Halfords. All right, so here we go then. Just need to put the saddle on, got to put the handlebars on um, and the front wheel. So in the box, we've got the reflector, instructions, pedals, um, oh, interesting. So there's no throttle on the handlebars, but they give you a throttle if you want to add it. So actually even a socket for it. Get a stand, some tools in there, I presume. Um, what's this? Oh, like a rear mudguard. Front and rear mudguard, by the looks of things. And the important bit, charger. I want to get this on charge because I obviously want to give this a test ride today. So this is the battery, 450 watt hours. Well, I'm just editing the video now and I've just noticed something. I can't believe I didn't notice while I was filming, but look at what this battery is called. Long Ting. <laughs> so this is a 250 watt bike, obviously. The battery's not seated down at the moment. I'm presuming that's just for sort of packaging reason, but I can't get it out. I think you must have to undo that with a key. Panicking for a minute, but the keys are there. Right, let's get the handlebars on then. So just take that off. So got to remove this sort of protection thing for the forks. It's pretty straightforward. Front wheel's got one of these axles. Right, so here we go guys. Actually looks pretty nice, quite like that. Quite like the big chunky bit down here that can hold all the uh, electronics and stuff. Yeah, pretty nice looking bike really. There was a bit of an issue putting the chain on because the chain had actually come off the uh, front chain ring and it had kind of caught up behind here and there's no way to get that out. I had to sort of pull it and it scratched the frame a little bit under there, but never mind. Also, the battery's quite tight getting in here. Um, there's not very much space to manoeuvre the battery around, but there's a little technique and you can get it in there. So we've got lights. The light's pretty decent. We've got a horn as well. God, sounds like a London taxi. So the socket for the throttle control's there. I'm gonna plug it in, see if it works. So as you probably expected, it's not gonna work out of the box. But according to the manual, if you hold down these two buttons, you've got the throttle control says no. You change it to yes, and then basically it works. And then to save it, they say hold that down, hold the on off button down for two seconds. But then after you've done that, it loses the throttle control and the actual throttle control hasn't been saved. Throttle control, no. So I'm not sure what all that's about. Try the different assist levels. No, it's not working. So I think we'll have to speak to him about that. Anyway, let's get some pressure in the tires. Definitely looks better without the stupid reflectors. Let's give it a go then. Oh, it's chilly. So this is pedal assist level one. So we're doing like nine mile an hour. I'm ov obviously I'm pedaling because the you know the front doesn't work. So let's just turn it up to level five. I'm gonna have to change gear actually. Oh, feels quick really. Even though it's just 250 watts. Rides nice as well, look, you can't do that on some of these little uh, mini electric bikes. It feels like a proper bike. You can just keep it going by just keeping your legs going around. You don't have to actually put any, any effort in on the highest setting. One of the first things I've noticed about this bike is not that. <laughs> That's really annoying. Um, but yeah, the front suspension's really good. It's actually really decent. It doesn't like ping around like a pogo stick like a lot of these cheap front suspensions. It's decent.
I was wondering if this was going to be open, this little calf. Gates open. No trouble across the gravel. Looks open as well. Awesome. Surprised you're open actually. Yeah, we closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Ah. But we're open the rest of the week. But Good, it's a good little cafe. You know, this is actually one of the better pedal assist systems that I've actually been sent on a bike like this. It's actually, it's pretty good. It doesn't kind of lunge forward. You don't feel like you need to kind of adjust it. It doesn't get out of control. It just matches the gears quite well. Whoever's designed this actually kind of actually rides bikes, I think. No, it's not having any problems with me. I mean, you know, I'm not the lightest <laughs> guy in the world, but just pulling me up a hill, no problem at all. Right, so what do we reckon then? Look, I know I like my fast e-bikes and this isn't that, of course. This is a, a road legal e-bike, so you, you know you can actually ride this legally on the road. Um, it does have a throttle, which would make it technically not road legal <laughs> if, you, if you put it on and it worked. But anyway, this bike costs 999 pounds, grand effectively. They ship it from the UK. So if you want a ready to go bike, it's actually a really good option. I really like the frame. I think the frame's actually been really well thought out. You've got you know a nice battery tube in there. It's a strong frame as well, not particularly heavy, um, but it does remind me of the Trek Marlin 5 um, bike. The, that kind of frame, it looks it looks very sort of sleek and modern. Now I really like that frame, and that's the frame that I used when I first started converting e-bikes for myself um, and using you know I was actually using higher power kits than you know you're seeing here now. This bike would actually make a really good base for a conversion. I'm not saying, you know, spend a grand and, and then rip it to pieces, but yeah, it might be quite interesting to do. And I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at that and see what we can, how much power we can kind of shoehorn out of that, that frame. It would be quite an interesting experiment. But anyway, yeah, that bike, really good. I think if you want to buy it from the get-go, take it out of the box, you know, screw a few bits and pieces on and you're ready to go. It's, it's just a great solution. And the price of these bikes has just come down. I think a grand's pretty reasonable, really, for, for that sort of size bike. And it's a proper bike, you know, it's a proper electric bike. The motor provides enough torque, you know, it won't go over 15 and a half mile an hour as standard. It's exactly what you want if you're looking for something to get you from A to B reliably without using the car, cut through the traffic, you know, amazing. And you can actually use the pedals in a way where you're not actually, you know, your pedals are just going round and it's actually providing you with power. So you're not having to put any energy in um, and get all hot and sweaty and all that sort of stuff. If you want to exercise with it, you can just turn the pedal assist powers down um, and you can, you know, pedal away. Anyway, I really like it. Go check out their website down below in the description. Um, they are shipping pretty quickly, I think. So you might be able to get it before Christmas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Happy Christmas. Catch you in the next one.